Hello everyone. Let us provide the solution to this problem. We have x squared to be equal to x minus 1 and this is to the power of 2. But remember that um, we always say that if the powers are the same we can equate the basis, right? Now let me show you how this will lead us. Now if we equate the basis, say x is equal to x minus 1, this is what will happen. We are going to have x minus x to be equal to minus 1, right? Okay, so from here, um, we are going to have 0 to be equal to minus 1, and there's nothing like this, right? So this means that if you equate the basis because the powers are the same, you will be wrong. Now we have x squared and it's equal to x minus 1 squared, right? Now what you will do is bringing this to the left. So we have x squared minus open bracket x minus 1 squared. And this will now be equal to 0. Now you can apply your difference of two squares because if you have a squared minus b squared, this is going to be a plus b into a minus b, right? Okay, if you can recall this, we are going to apply the same thing and our a now is going to be x and our b is x minus 1. So in place of a plus b, I will be having x plus x minus 1 but this will be in bracket and then we will close this then in the second bracket we have a minus b and it turns to x minus open bracket x minus b um, minus 1 close this and then we lock this up and then we equate everything to 0 now open the inner bracket open this and open this so we have x plus x minus 1. This is what we have in the first. Then in the second, we have x. Then um, minus negative multiplied by x will give us negative x. Then negative negative will go positive. We have 1 over there. And then this is equal to 0. From here, we can add this up, right? x plus x will give to x minus 1, close this, then here x minus x is gone and we are going to have just 1 in the second bracket, this is equal to 0, right? From here we can just open this because 1 times this will still give 2x minus 1, so this is now equal to 0. So this means that at the end of the day we can only have one solution to the equation. From here, 2x is equal to 0 plus 1, then 2x is equal to 1, then divide by 2, divide by 2, so that this can go, and x will be alone, which will be equal to 1 over 2. So, this is the value of x that satisfies the equation, or that should satisfy the equation, x squared equal to x minus 1, squared. Now let me put in this value of x. That means we're going to have 1 over 2 squared and is it equal to x minus 1 to the power of 2? Sorry, in place of x now, I should write 1 over 2 because we're trying to check, right? Now 1 over 2 squared is 1 over 4. Now do you think this should be equal? Because on the right, 1 over 2 minus 1 is giving us negative 1 over 2. So whatever we have, we will square it. Now, to continue with this, we are having 1 over 4 on the left. On the right, 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 will give us 1 over 4. Because the positive, the negative will multiply itself and will have positive value. And this is what we are trying to look for because we can now confirm or we have confirmed that x to be equal to 1 over 2 
is satisfying the equation. Thank you for watching and do well to share this to um, your friends. Thank you.